We have Russia now rebuffing its statements that the U.S. should not fly near its borders unless it wants to agree on the rules. Now, without a doubt, Russia has been more aggressive around its territory in terms of buzzing U.S. aircraft. They have come right up near our borders before, California, all along the West Coast, Alaska, Guam, all those regions. They have their vessels off of the East Coast right now. And they have dive-bombed our aircraft many times in different waterways around the globe. The Black Sea is an area they like to swarm like hornets. And any time we have any aircraft in that region, they want to buzz them very closely. Now, there's some footage here of the most recent encounter in where these Russian military planes come out and swarm U.S. aircraft. That was there to spy. Spy plane. So they have these things creeping around the borders. Russia is buzzing them. And this comes on the heels of the two going at it over the Open Skies Treaty. Whatever Russia did the last time they were in our country ticked off the upper brass of the U.S. military, at least for a brief moment. They did something they were not supposed to do. Now, you're... You're not supposed to have certain equipment. You're supposed to fly at certain altitudes. You're not supposed to go into certain regions. You have to have certain people with you and all this other stuff when they do a flyover of our country. Whatever they did was out of the rules. So we looked at that in detail. What could they have done? Did they drop something? Did they go into an area where they should not have been? You know, all these questions were raised, but no details were given. But this is the latest between the two here on the world stage. I'll leave a link below. It's been Dabu 7.